Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Technotalks here. So today I have another speed test for y'all, and this time it's gonna be between the Google Pixel 4 XL on the left and the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus on the right. So both these devices were released around the same time, and these are both competitors of each other. One of them is Samsung's flagship, and the other was Google's flagship. It's been around a year now since they've been released, since these are last year's flagship devices. And I just want to know how well they're going to go against each other since they basically do have the same chipset. They have the Snapdragon 855 and the Pixel 4 has 6GB of RAM and the S10 Plus has 8GB of RAM. So the S10 Plus does have the upper hand with the RAM. However, we don't know the RAM management might be better on the Pixel device and that's why it might beat the S10 Plus with the RAM management test. So... If you guys have watched my videos before for speed test, you guys already know how it goes. And before I start it, I have a quick announcement. Um, I did change some of the apps. Uh, I went ahead and just looked for some new apps. And then I also removed stock apps since they never made a difference. Like settings and the phone dialer app, those didn't make sense. And, you know, I just went ahead and removed those and added two more new games. One of them, Among Us, and the other one was uh, Smashy Road Wanted, something like that. So... Those are the new apps. So let us begin. Let us first turn both these phones on. And three, two, one. Okay, so they're both turning on now. S10 Plus and Google. Let's see which one wins. So I'm not exactly sure. These devices usually boot up around the same time unless this test isn't very good because it always depends on the time. Sometimes it always changes. Like I've done this test. Um, I sometimes go ahead and test the devices before the video. And even then I always get different results, but wow, that was interesting right there. If you didn't see that, they both opened at the same time. So pretty great. They both turned on at the same time. And now I'm going to go ahead and pause the video right here. And I'm going to turn on these devices fully, let them start up and whatnot. And then I'll be on the app screen and we'll be ready to take the app test. So we now have both the devices turned up on and they are fully functional. They're both turned on. They've already started up and whatnot. So we can go ahead and do the speed test and start with our apps. So as I said, I added two more apps, um, two new games, Among Us and Smashy Road Wanted 2. Um, I just added those because I had to remove some of the stock apps and I wanted to download some apps that are more relevant right now and I will continue updating the app selection so don't worry they will always get updated and I will be removing and adding new apps in. So let us begin. First up let's start with Snapchat and th I mean Instagram in three, two, one. Okay so that was that was the S10 plus loaded in the PlayStation the same thing first however the pixel did open up first so we can call that a tie and let's get on with it snapchat in three two one okay so that was very similar the pixel did load in that sliding animation first twitter in three two one okay so that was the s10 plus right there i mean the google pixel 4 xl no, I'm just going to go ahead and say 4XL and S10. YouTube in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so that was very similar again. Let's go to Amazon in 3, 2, 1. So that was definitely the Pixel right there. Let's go Best Buy. That was Pixel again. S10 Plus is going a little slow. Among Us. Okay, so Pixel loaded in the animation first, and it has opened up the game. So that was the Pixel device again. So Google's doing a nice job with optimizing their apps. Um, Smashy Road in three, two, one. Let us see which one, if the S10 Plus can, nope. That was the Google Pixel 4 XL. I really hope, um, one thing I'd like to point out is that I really hope Samsung fixes this landscape orientation thing because it's been bothering me. I turned off rotate the landscape on home screen and whatnot. However, it always goes to landscape first and then it rotates, which takes a little while and it just looks laggy overall. So let's go subway in three, two, one. Let's see which one opens up first. So the 
I feel like the Pixel is going to take this. Yep, the Pixel device took it. The S10 Plus is still loading in, taking a little while, and it finally did. So let's close out. Temple Run 2. Let's see. So they're both loading in. They're very similar. Pixel device has just beat it. So the 4XL is doing very good. Um, it's actually doing really great uh, when compared to the S10 Plus. Not sure why exactly, but it's doing better. It's been opening up apps faster, especially the games. It's been loading them up faster. So let's go to Dead Trigger 2. Okay, let's see. Very similar. Okay, that, that was a tie. I'd call that a tie. You guys can slow the video down to see if it isn't. However, that was very close. And I'm going to go ahead and call that a tie. So let's wait up for both of them to go into the game. Authenticate. Taking a little while. Not sure exactly why. Um, what is that? Internet connection. I have no clue what's going on. They're both connected to Wi-Fi, so that shouldn't be happening. But let us continue. Let's go PUBG Mobile in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so Pixel loaded in that first animation. But we're still waiting on them. Okay. The Pixel 4 is taking the lead. It's loading in. And... Okay, so the Pixel 4 XL definitely beat the S10 Plus right here. Um, by a lot by a couple seconds actually so let's go ahead and leave out of there and now that we're done with all those and app opening we saw that the pixel 4 definitely took this round um, it definitely opened up apps faster especially the games that was a pretty good performance by the pixel so let us go ahead and see the RAM management Instagram so they're both opened up okay I'm gonna go through all these apps really quick since it shouldn't take too long so, for some reason, the S10 Plus feels a little laggy. Not exactly sure why. Okay, so that, that's a reload right there. The Pixel just had one reload on Best Buy. Among Us. Okay, so the Pixel just had another reload. Don't do this, Google. We can't be having this. Okay, SRW2. And another reload. Not exactly sure what's going on. It did manage to open up the apps fat first. However, now it's getting all these reloads. Okay, so the S10 Plus is still in there. Let's click resume. Yep, the S10 Plus is still in the game. Temple run. Okay, they're both in. Let's just click resume real quick. Yep, they're both there. Dead trigger 2. Okay, they're both there. Let's go ahead and close out. PUBG Mobile. And yep, they're both over there. So the Pixel had some trouble keeping those apps open. Um, it might depend. It might be because of the six gigabytes of RAM. However, it did manage to open up the apps faster. But honestly, not by too much. So it's not too big of a deal. However, it did have to reload on three apps, and the S10 Plus didn't have to reload at all. So now that we have all that cleared and we're done with all that. You guys already know we're going to be going on to our Geekbench test. So let's close out all of these apps. Let's go all the way over here and clear all. So now we're going to be doing our Geekbench 5 test. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run the CPU benchmark. And once these are over, I'll get back to you guys. And we'll go ahead and examine the results that both these devices have. So let's go ahead and run it. And I'll get back to you all. Now that we have both the tests over, let's go ahead and check out these scores. So you can already see that there is a pretty big difference in the single core score and let us talk about this. So for the Pixel 4 XL, we have a single core score of 703 and a multi-core score of 2,294. And now on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, we have a single, score, single core score of 549 and a multi-core score of 2,350. So we can see that the S10 Plus has a better multi-core score, but not by too much, around 56 points. And the Pixel definitely destroys the S10 Plus and the single core score by getting around 150 points higher than the S10 Plus. So this goes to show that 
it doesn't usually matter or it doesn't always matter what type of chipset you have even if they're the same it depends on some of the some other factors as well it's not the only thing that's dependent on it and from this we can see that the pixel definitely does beat it even though the s10 plus beats it on the multi-core it's only by a tiny bit so you can't really call that it beating it um, also these are both on their latest updates android 11 for the pixel and android 10 for the s10 plus so these are the results. We can see that the Pixel wins in multi single core and by in multi it's bare, it's almost there. It almost wins. And from the app opening test and the RAM management test, they were basically a tie because the Pixel did manage to app open some apps faster. However, during the RAM management test, the S10 Plus kept all the apps open and the Pixel failed on a couple of the apps. And that's why I'm going to be calling this test a tie. Um, from the results though, we could definitely say that the Pixel is a tad bit better than the S10 Plus and it might perform, a be perform better. So that's about it guys. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one.